Montague's message, March 15, 2015. The falsification of history has done more to mislead humans than any single thing known to mankind. Rousseau I have pleaded with you many times to investigate this fact for yourselves. This information would release you from the stranglehold of your oppressors. I have guided Veronica to read, once again, the books that explain the truth of how certain factions took control of not just planet Earth, but humanity also. How the Bible is an Irish book altered and adapted by British Roman translators, by Cunner McDarry. It is safe to say the light is advancing and that truth is progressing regardless of this reactionary force, which is now exposed for the first time in a manner which reveals the plot. It cannot help but open the eyes of mankind to the great fraud, and more especially awaken the Irish people who have been so foully betrayed and sold into the hands of their oppressors. To conceal those facts from posterity, they had recourse to the scheme of falsifying the world's history and substituting a tissue of lies and inventions. It all goes to prove that even the cleverest forgers and falsifiers are not safe from exposure and discovery. So it is the case of the Roman and British forgers. Although the imposition of the Savior Jesus and the substitution of him for Isa brought great riches to the Roman Church, it required a great and tremendous effort to succeed in making it appear to the world that he had an actual historical existence. These are the people who stole the ancient Irish Bible and palmed it off to the world as a Jewish book, produced by a people over in Syria. It is an invention and an imposture on the world. It almost passes belief that a fraud so stupendous could escape so long without discovery. But when we consider the thoroughness and extent to which the plot was carried out, and the magnitude of the forces which were employed in the work, it is not so much to be wondered at, forces such as the Roman Empire, with its world power, then the Roman Catholic Church and the British Kingdom, with propaganda systematically spread abroad in order to create a false impression of everything pertaining to the past history of Ireland and her people. There are the forces who have perpetrated and profited by this great fraud. The deception is still continued, and the secret jealously guarded by both the Roman Church and the British from the world at large, but more particularly from the Irish people, who have suffered so much from those two adverse forces. Look also at, Irish Wisdom Preserved in Bible and Pyramids, by Connor McDory. The Irish brought religion and civilization to Egypt, and that religion was sun worship. The word Jew is derived from an idiomatic Irish word Yud, meaning of the light. It alludes to the priests of the sun, the followers of the light, those who had wisdom. The word Yud is camouflaged when it is converted into English by using the letter J instead of I to begin the word, there being no J in the Irish alphabet. So, by leaving out the letters from the original Irish spelling, the doctors have formulated the word Jew. This deception being unsuspected, it has served the tricksters until now. There are other idiomatic names in the Irish language for Jew and Hebrew which give unmistakable proof that they are solely and truly of Irish origin. One of the names for Jew is Yule. It expresses the attributes of the sun when at his highest power and dignity, and is the name of the month Yule, July. It is from this idea, which originated with and was developed by the Irish priests of Isa, that was afterwards copied by the Roman church priests when they wrote their false history of Rome and bestowed the names of the months of the year, when the sun is at its greatest power, upon two of their historic characters, Julius and Augustus Caesar. Yule signifies, in Irish, learning, knowledge. The Irish attributed these qualities to the sun, so, in accordance with this idea, the Roman priests, in their fictitious history, have Julius Caesar write a book. Thus we have a history of Caesar's campaigns, a priestly composition. These attributes were ascribed to the sun by the Irish cult of Isa, and those who embraced the religious life were Jews, and not our poor brothers who owned the city of New York. The Irish were Hebrews. I have found that statement was the real truth as regarding the ancient Irish. So it goes without saying that the hierarchy at Rome knew that the Irish Church of Isa Christ, Jesus Christ, had established Christianity or sun worship, on the western continent.
This knowledge must have been confirmed by the Irish priests who were brought into the Roman Church organization at the time of the suppression of the Irish Church. Until the Irish people and humanity wake up to this fraud and expose it, the planet is held to ransom. Veronica and I have tried to open your minds to the truth. Changes are happening so fast that it is now urgent that you take responsibility and free yourselves. You do have a choice, you have free will. The truth will set you free. The moment you stand together and state as one, I do not consent, your oppressors lose control of humanity. Note. As I write this, I am being attacked. My head, and especially my eyes, are burning and flowing, as is my nose. The pain is terrible. Your inaction gives permission for humanity to be attacked whether through banking, wars, etc. Think on that. You are only just waking up to the control system that has destroyed so much of your world. They want to destroy life on Earth. They push for war. They will invent whatever excuses are necessary to convince the masses that they are in danger and that war is necessary. Look at all the countries they have invaded and destroyed recently, one after another. Those are your fellow humans. They need your support. The ley line work is freeing you. Please put as much effort into it as possible. Release all the trapped energy for humanity. Pay special attention to London and everywhere else that the control is concentrated. There are islands that you are told are uninhabited. These are fully equipped with harp technology that can create whatever your oppressors require, including mind control of the masses. What are you doing while all such places are being set up to destroy you? Do not give your consent to this. Because they are secret locations, they get away with it. The harp signals give away these locations, such as Antarctica. You want all human and animal life to flourish. No more wars or the glorification of wars. This mind control you are all subject to, must stop. Once you are aware of it, and refuse to consent to it, it will have to stop. Concentrate on the grid. Release all ley line energy to humanity. Cover the whole world especially remote places that are out of sight and used for criminal activities which suppress and eliminate humanity. You are up against an evil so great, it will take all of you to remove it. Say no, I do not consent. My dear, your path is proving more difficult every day. The attacks are quite vicious. It saddens you that enough people are not making the effort to awaken. They will, in time. They will have a light bulb moment and all will become obvious. We know what is written. Humanity will survive. The earth will be reclaimed. Always at your side, my dear. Your adoring, Monty. Channeled by Veronica Keen. MontagueKeen.com